The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the August 1st, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Steve e. Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I are going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that. And that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone, dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you can't dial in, but you've got a question, we've got you covered. Go ahead and send me an email. Send that out to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we got a sea of red. All the U.S. indices now pointing to the south. The Dow's off four points, so it's flat. The S&P's off 15, three tenths, three tenths for the NASDAQ 100, or 43 points, a little over 1% for the Russell, 23 points there, 12 points for the semis, 122 for the trannies. Gold is off 26 bucks, silver's down 67 cents, lights recruit is down 92 pennies, natural gas is off 8 cents, the 30-year treasury printed out at 123.02, that is off 1 point and 12 ticks. So let's begin with the U.S. dollar index. The reason we're going to begin here is because I've got a, a different data feed. I've got it set up for this. Uh, and uh, so I've got a different data feed to use the U.S. dollar index charts out there that I can switch back to the normal feeds to take a look at all those other instruments. But the importance about take a look at the U.S. dollar index is the following. As soon as we get to those charts, give me a moment. We'll put the white background charts up on our screen. The upper left-hand corner. So here are the components that make up the U.S. dollar index. You've got the euro, the yen, Great British Pound, the Canadian Looney, the uh, Swiss Franc, and the uh, Swedish Corona out there. So those are the uh, uh, those are the currency pairs, the six currency pairs that make up uh, the U.S. dollar index. Now the weightings are listed there too. The top three, the euro, the yen, and the pound, are over 80 percent of the weighting. So really, it's primarily just to focus on those three charts to get a feel for what the U.S. dollar index is communicating to us. Now, if we take a look at the very bottom right-hand panel, you will see an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside, just like you'll see an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside for the euro. The two of these currency pairs, you know, basically having the inverse relationship here dominating each other. But what we also have that's going to unfold today at day's end is a TD nine count bottom pattern. So in the case of the euro, it appears that the low of that pattern is going to be bar number eight. That low is 1.0943. If price closes below that, let's say tomorrow or the next day, this pattern gets negated. The A to B equals CD pattern gets, you know, still in place out there. And that would then suggest at least a lower move. It may be may go beyond the one to one A to B equals CD, you would need a bullish reversal candle to confirm that pattern. But right now, what we know is that the euro is, is uh, expected or anticipated to bottom today and should make a move up to its oscillator and change line. That's currently printed at 1.108. If we take a look at the Japanese yen, it is weakening against the US dollar as it moves higher. It has a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside. Price is beyond the one to one level. We can also see that price is on the left side of that C to D leg. This suggests to you and I that price wants to make a run for the TD9 count breakdown level. That's at 144.73. 
the yen should continue to weaken. That will put strength inside the U.S. dollar index. The euro should get stronger. That should weaken the U.S. dollar index. The Great British Pound does not have a bottom pattern. What the Great British Pound has is an A to B equal CD. That should take price towards its breakout level, and that's at the 126.74 level. As the pound moves lower, the U.S. dollar index will move higher out there. So it's more than just saying to you that the U.S. dollar index is going to form a TD9 count or complete a TD9 count pattern today because it is going to. The real key is going to be we know that the U.S. dollar Japanese yen or it appears that the U.S. dollar Japanese yen wants to continue to move higher. So that's going to weaken. U.S. dollar index is getting stronger. That's about a 14 percent weighting inside there where we may get the euro that bounces, which would then weaken the U.S. dollar. But the Great British Pound says, I want to get weaker. That puts strength in the U.S. dollar. So we really need to continue to keep our eye on these charts here for the next day or so to can't really get a feel for what the U.S. dollar index wants to do. But in summary, you've got a TD9 count top. You now see the components that are going on inside there. And there you go, as Gus, my big fat Greek wedding, would say. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to close this down. I'm going to actually turn off the data feed. And I'm going to add the new data feeds in here just simply so we can get to some of the requests that have come in. For example, we're going to take a look at Caterpillar for Hector. ENVX and overstock for Jimmy, JNJ for John C. All right, so I've got those things set up. But before we go take those individual stocks, let's get a feel for what's going on intraday here. Uh, so we'll pull up these charts. I believe it's gold that's going to pop up first. That's fine if that's, in fact, what happens. Yeah. Because I'm sure there's questions about gold. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, Goldilocks, what its charts are communicating to us. We'll do the same with regard to the ES and the NQ out here. So when we take a look at gold on a daily basis. Right now, price is trading below a key level of support. And that is the bottom of that daily profile. Now, you, you may recall, if you were listening in on the uh, uh, 11 a.m. update, that there's another area of support, which is the center of the weekly profile. And that's at the 1980-80 level. We're trading 1980.50 right now. So we'll want to watch 1980.80. If price closes below 1980.80 at the day's end, it's going to signal to you and I that we could be looking to move down to its breakout level, and that's at 1954.30. That's the daily time frame. The uh, five-hour time frame looks like it's trying to form an A to B equal CD to the downside. The same for the four-hour, the same for the two-hour. However, the two-hour chart will complete a TD9 count bottom near its breakout level of support and that's at the 1982.20 level and it will do that at uh, 12 noon so we've got about another 45 minutes so gold I'd watch the two hour chart for gold the one hour chart is in the process right now of negating its TD9 count bottom the 30 minute chart will confirm a TD9 count bottom at 11.30 complete the pattern at 12 so what I'd really be watching then is I'd watch the 30 minute chart got a roads momentum indicator signal on the 50 minute chart. I'd really kind of be watching the intraday charts here, but you've got a, a valid bottom that's in the process of completing 1130 on the 30 minute to confirming at uh, 12 noon. And we're going to get a confirmed 120 minute TD9 count bottom as well. So whatever that low is, as we come into this uh, 12 o'clock session, if price closes below that low on a 30 minute basis, that tells us we're headed lower and we're likely headed lower to 1954.30. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 Days Risk-Free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Back, folks, uh, Dow's off 25, S&P down 17, NASDAQ 151, the Russell's off 23. We'll take a look at the charts here for Caterpillar. Caterpillar's not off. Gap into the upside, a uh, big move, big uh, wide-ranging bar. Uh, it negated its uh, TD9 count top uh, today, um, and uh, it's got an A to B equals CD. It's extended beyond the one-to-one -one, uh, price level. Let me give you what that next price level is. I'm going to calculate that off screen here, tell you where the one to one point two seven two price target is it is at the uh, 288.89 area so that's likely its next price target the only issue that i see on the caterpillar charts here um uh hector and patty is that uh, you are now going to complete a weekly td9 count bottom at the end of a uh, td9 count top at the end of this week Will that take hold or not? I don't know. If we were to see a bearish reversal candle sometime this week on Caterpillar, then the odds would favor the answer to that question would be yes. It's a beautiful looking chart on the monthly time frame. You'll top in place out here. You're above profiles. You're above the green oscillator and change line. The charts for Caterpillar are muy bueno. Very, very strong out here. Uh, but it is the weekly time frame chart that you want to keep your eye on. No indication yet of a... Um, no indication yet of a uh, top out there. So I do hope that helps you out again. Next price projection level is going to be up at the uh, 288.89 level. That's in the daily time frame. And, and uh, Hector and Patty were asking just simply about the A to B equals CD patterns that are out here. So let's take a look at the week. I'm going to change screens. It's just easier for me to draw these on my other screens out here. So from a weekly perspective, Okay, here's the larger A to B equals CD. The A point starts out down in uh, 2022, September, week of September 26. The B point, the week of January 23rd, 2023, and it pulls all the way back, makes a low on April the 24th, the week of April 24th. The B point has volume on a weekly basis of 14 million shares. Now, you're it's only two days in, and we're nearly at 9.9 .9 million. So you've got the volume on a weekly basis, Hector and Patty, to give you a confirmed A to B equals CD on the uh, weekly time frame that takes in a 309.48 out there. Now, on a monthly time frame, 
I think we'd be using the same swing. Let me just make sure. No, we wouldn't. Okay, let's take a look at the monthly A to B equals CD here in Caterpillar. So you'd use as the A point. I would use as the A point the low from March of 2020. And the B point going to be the high of June of 2021. Pulls back into a low that forms back in August of 20 or September, I should say, of 2022. The B point here had volume of 103 million shares. It was passed last month with only 50 million shares. It was passed with... 70 million shares back in uh, January of 2023. And this month, you're only at 6.2. So, of course, it just began. Um, but there's still an A to B equals CD pattern that's in play out here, 319. So here's the A to B equals CDs for you, Hector and Patty. The daily, 288.89 is the next price target. The weekly, 309.48, and the monthly, 319.79. But the caveat is a weekly TD9 count top will complete on Friday out there, and that should take price back to its weekly oscillator and change line, and that right now is printed out at 252. So Hector and Patty, thanks much for writing in, and have a, a terrific uh, Tuesday. Jimmy wants to take a look at ticker symbol EN. VX. So we're going to go ahead and change panels here, I believe. So I want to make sure that I do this properly. Yes. Yeah, so let's go change the panels out here. And this is uh, NOVIX Corp. We'll use that. Whoops, that's not it. Shoot. Another second to do that. Stevie almost screwed up. That would have been the third one of the day already. We don't want that to happen. So let's get back to those white background screens. Let's switch over to ENVX. So we take a look at these charts. What are they communicating to us? Well, You've got, what do you got? What do you got here? You've got a wave, now you don't even have that. So let me pull this back a tad. Is there an A to B equals CD that completed? Yeah, there is. So this has a completed A to B equals CD pattern. It would look like this. I'll draw in the A to B. It's more than a one-to-one. -one. If I just simply move this over to the C point out there, you'll see we're way beyond that. So, yeah, there was a sell the D point pattern that formed. That now has led to, let's all pull this back in the daily time frame. Let's see what kind of profiles we're dealing with here. The bottom's at 1973, okay? Center's at 2087, which is basically where we're printing right now. And the top is at 22 bucks. So you've got just a consolidation with inside its daily profile that's going on right now, Jimmy. On a weekly time frame, you have a TD9 count top that has unfolded. It completed last week. Should, price should pull back to test its oscillator and change line. And is that the top of the profile too? 1720 and the top of its profile. So ENVX should, doesn't mean that it will, but it should pull back to that 1721 level. The monthly chart shows that price ran into resistance at the top of its profile, and that's at 2249. So you've got a consolidation on the monthly. You're really consolidating on the daily time frame. The weekly has a topping pattern out here. You've got to keep your eye on the daily charts. If the daily charts start pulling back and you get closes below 1973, that would be the signal that we might be getting ready to pull back on ENVX to 1721. What does it need to do to say that we're going topside? It needs to close above last week's high. And last week's high, which was that TD nine count top is out at 2390 so that's what i see when i take a look at the charts here for novix corp i hope that that helps you out let's look at your next request which would take a look at overstock o s t k is the uh, ticker symbol here and its charts are communicating what its charts are communicating that today you could get a confirmed roads momentum indicator top it all is dependent upon whether or not we get a bearish reversal candle. Now, even if we do, and right now we have a bearish sash candle, even if we do, we can also see that price is trading above its green oscillator and change line. So that neutralizes the signal. There's also a new profile that is forming. It is not on this white background chart. This area of support out here, Jimmy, I'd write this down. This is going to be a solid profile or should be. It's at 32.93. That's your next support level. And 37.27 is a resistance zone. On the weekly time frame chart, let's update this here. You are going to it appears you will complete a TD9 count. You will confirm a TD9 count top this week. You will complete that pattern next week. So you've got the daily top. Watch that oscillator and change line, 34.93. If you get below that, odds would then favor at least a pullback to 32.93. If price closed below 32.93, that would then signal move back to the weekly oscillator and change line. 
on a monthly time frame chart, when we take a look at overstock, what do we have? Everything here looks bullish. What I mean by that is price closed above the top of its monthly profile two months ago. It remained above it last month. It is also above its oscillator and change line. So it's bullish. So you've got bullishness on the monthly. You've got uh, neutralish on the daily. You've got neutralish on the weekly, but both the daily and the weekly do have topping signals. So you really have to watch support. And again, that first level on, o on overstock, is going to be that daily oscillator and change line at 34.93. So, Jimmy, I hope that helps you out. We'll get back from this breakout here. I'll pull up the charts right now. We're going to take a look at Johnson & Johnson, JNC out here. That is for John C. So we've got these charts as you take a look at these charts. What are they communicating to you? What do you see out here? Anybody see an A to B equal CD pattern? Did it complete? Did it confirm? Did it generate a sell the D point pattern yesterday? Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back and answer all those questions. Attention traders. Larry Pesavento, the renowned trading mastermind, is holding an exclusive live trading event on Wednesday, August 2nd. From 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, transform your trading skills with the real-time wisdom of a Wall Street veteran. Just $295 gets you a front row seat to this power-packed session, plus a month free of Larry's sought-after newsletter, Fibonacci 24-7, a $97 value. Elevate your strategies, decode the markets, and achieve your financial goals. Remember, this event will be archived for all attendees, and Larry only does a few of these a year. Don't miss this opportunity. Sign up today at TFNN.com. Secure your future and start trading smarter. TFNN. Educating Investors. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Welcome back, folks. So we're going to go take a look at Johnson and Johnson. J and J is the uh, ticker symbol. This is for John uh, C inside the Tiger's Den, and uh, you can see the A to B equals CD pattern. I was confirmed the sell the D point pattern was first confirmed with this uh, bear shooting star on July 24th. That pattern failed a couple of days ago when price closed above that. Then yesterday we had a gap to the downside that created a gap, which is a, a bearish signal gap down or a falling window. It also created a three river evening star pattern out here. Now, what price has done is pulled all the way back to its level of support in the case of Johnson & Johnson. It's a new daily profile with the support down at the 166.92. So John C., that's a level to be watching. You're, you, so far, that area is held. But if price closed below 166.92, it's signaling to you that price should continue to head lower. Now, the great question would be lower to where Stevo. The lower to where Stevo, and you can see on a weekly basis that what you are generating right now is a sell the D point pattern. What we don't know is will we have a, a bear separating candle at week's end? If we do, then the answer to your question with regard to what happens if price closes below the bottom of its new daily profile, 166.92, whew, that was a mouthful. Price should then target 163 and change. That is the weekly oscillator and change line. On a monthly basis inside of GNJ, you've just got a consolidation with inside its monthly profile with its oscillator and change line currently at 169.60, acting as a resistance level. With the top of the profile last month also acted as resistance. That's up at 174.23. So overall, you've got a top. Price is pulled back and has held support. That's a little bit bullish out here, uh, but you do have a potential sell the D point for me this week in Johnson & Johnson. Um, so I'd say just keep watching 166.92 now. In order for Johnson & Johnson on a daily basis to be on its merry way to the upside, you need to see a close above that green oscillator and change line. That is currently printed 169.17. Don't use the pennies uh, because that number is going to change. But let's just call it maybe 160. 940, something like that. If price closes above that, then the gap should get filled. The price should then go retarget its profile levels. But understand this is a bearish structured daily profile. And the sell zone right now inside of Johnson & Johnson is between 172.55 and 175.36. So I hope that helps you out, John C. Thanks so much for taking the time to write in. Much appreciated. Rachel writes in and she wants to take a look at T-Rex out here. So let's get to uh, the charts here for T-R-E-X, and let's actually read the question. T-R-E-X is the Trex company. The question is, hey, Steve, good morning. I'm looking for an entry on T-R-E-X. It had a great-looking uh, base and appears to be breaking out. It gapped up today and is pulling back a bit. Looks like Marcus may be taking a pause the next couple of weeks. I'd love your take on this stock for a potential long entry. Rachel, so let's get over and take a look at those charts. Sorry, I didn't uh, move over there. I thought that I had, but uh, now we will. No, that wasn't it. Did I have it up? I must have had it up. I did have it up. Sorry about that. Uh, all right, so T-Rex, what is it doing? We take a look at patterns out here. The pattern that I see that's in play, so this negated a wave seven pattern. This formed wave number seven. It does it on the day of July 18th. Leads to a pullback, which gets which which gets below the bottom of its daily profile. But, but forget about that now. It's trading above the top of the profile at 71.46. So you've got an A to B equals CD. What's that pattern look like? So we'll draw the A to B pattern. We'll copy, assemble, and paste. So here's A to B. Let's go ahead and copy and paste that. So here's our copy. Here's our paste. And now let's do the assembling part. This is the CPA trick. So now we've got the A to B equals CD. That says that likely going to head higher. Your one-to-one -one price projection is about 77.51 or thereabouts. Of course, you're looking for an entry point. Where's an entry point? The entry point says, right now, you need to be careful here. The reason that you need to be careful is on a weekly basis, we're going to get it completed, TD9 count on top out here. What? As also transpired today, is that move higher has triggered a Rhodes momentum indicator signal, Rachel. But that doesn't mean it's topped. In order for that to give you a topping signal or topping pattern, you need the required bearish reversal candle. So price should continue to move higher. You're looking for an entry point, so you're not going to chase it here. You're especially not going to chase it, knowing that we have a weekly TD9 count top that's going to complete. Now, maybe that pattern gets negated, and that gets negated, and this thing decides to continue to run north. A real big possibility, or a real possibility, I don't know if it's a big possibility, it's a possibility. But you're looking for an entry point, and you want to see this pullback. Will the markets pull back for the next couple? Couple weeks that I don't know 
And that, I'm not sold on that idea. The markets might begin to pull back a couple weeks from now. But over the next couple of weeks, eh, not so sure on that one. But with regard to T-Rex, let's just stay on the T-Rex charts out here. Because of that weekly TD9 count top, um, I would be patient and wait. Where would be the entry point? Really, well, where would be the entry point? 6367 or thereabouts. That's the weekly oscillator and change line. That should be the first target. That's still above its weekly profiles. That would be a likely move. But what you'd be looking for is some type of bottoming pattern on an intraday chart or maybe even on a daily time frame if that were to come to fruition. So I think what you do here is you, you've had this on your radar. You keep it on your radar. You wait to see how the weekly chart responds, whatever this week's high is. Note that on your pad of paper. If price closes above that, that tells you we're likely or this is likely headed to its TD9 count breakdown area. That's up at the 92-93 area. So I hope that helped you out, uh, Rachel, with regard to T-Rex. Thanks so much for the request out out there and let's get to the request from our man dan levitan who wants to take a look at uh, g uh, mcrb 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 and that is trading right now at about 479 i just want to make sure yeah 479 is the current print this is uh, series therapeutics which is trading right into resistance where the sellers are located the top of that daily profile that's at 481 we're trading at 479 so dan this formed a wave seven bottom I've got that. Uh, if price can take out resistance, meaning two consecutive close, about 481, uh, you should be off to the races, sort of. Sort of, Steve-O. What do you mean, sort of? Well, the reason I say sort of is as we look at the weekly time frame chart, we can see that price has been below the bottom of its bullish structured weekly profile for more than two consecutive bars. If it's only a counter trend move, we don't know whether it is or not at this stage here. If it is only a counter trend move that's unfolded, even if price closed above 481, you must watch 498 because 498 is a level that price should not close above if MCRB is only making a counter trend move. I do not have a bottoming pattern on the weekly basis inside of MCRB. What I do have is price taking out a swing point this is the swing point from December 30th that did volume there of 3.7 million shares. And as price got below that about four weeks ago, it was with 8.5 million shares. So 8.5 took out 3.7. Mm. Now, granted, that was the week of December 30th. You know, and you can say it's maybe a little bit light volume out here, but there is an A to B equal CD to the downside. It's been confirmed by volume, and it looks like this. And I think that that would say it goes out of business, so to speak, out here. Where does it take that in price? No, it would take you to about the $2.22 mark out there. But you did get a hammer candle that formed last week. So only a close below that low is then going to signal that A to B equals CD. The downside is in full effect out there. So you've got to watch the price of 429. Two levels to watch with clarity. We're going to say skip the daily chart. We don't really care about it right now. What we most care about is that center profile level on the weekly time frame at 498. That's the first area that we care about. The second area that we care about is the hammer candle low from last week at 429. That is MCRB for Dan inside the Tiger Stand. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. So right now you've got uh, U.S. equities uh, trading to the downside. Dow's off 20, S&P 15, Nasdaq 134, Russell's down 17, gold's off about 29 bucks, silver down 68 cents, slice we crude off 70 cents, natural gas back seven pennies, 30-year treasury uh, down one point and 11 ticks out here. Remember, we've got consolidations right now going on inside of the uh, U.S. equity future contracts. Let me put those up on our screen. We'll come back to GSM momentarily here. I'll put these up on our screens out here. So on a daily basis right now, the ES Mini, we've got an A to B equals CD pattern. Yesterday negated, it's a rose momentum indicator top, uh, or it's buy the it's sell the D point pattern. If we get another bearish reversal candle today, which will be easy to do, as this current bar wraps around yesterday's bar, then you would get to sell the D point pattern. But price has got to close below the bottom of that daily profile. That's at 4507 in order for this topping signal to even mean anything. In the case of the NQ, it formed a erodes momentum indicator top, did it a couple of weeks ago. It's just been trading in a sideways consolidation with inside its profile. In the case of the Dow equity future contract, it has a sell the D point pattern. It is consolidated with inside its daily profile between the range of 35,267 to 35727. That sell the D point pattern gets negated with a close above 35843. And the Russell 2000 negated its sell signal yesterday. You know, if it generated a bearish reversal candle and today's bar would be considered a key reversal, is it close enough to the 2030 level? In other words, today's high so far has been 2017. Is 2030 and 2017, is that enough separation to say, you know what, that's close enough for a sell the D point pattern? I don't know the answer to that question. But what we do know is not until support breaks do any of these tops make any difference whatsoever out there. And the seasonal patterns actually suggest, at least the ones over the last decade, suggest that we move higher into the uh, middle of uh, August. So, Rachel, that's where that comment was coming from, that I don't know that we've really made a top just yet. Now let's go take a look at those charts there for GSM. We'll go back to that white background chart. What we're going to notice about this stock is last week price was testing a prior swing point which also happened to be a, a TD9 count top and it was testing it with volume. So the volume last week on a GSM was 1.9 million shares going against 
only 1.2 million shares. It tested and rejected that high. When you test and reject a swing point high with volume, what does that tell us? That tells us that the high will get tested again. Turns out that high has already been tested this week. Now, the key is what's going to be the volume. Well, the volume so far through today at 11.45 in the morning is 313,000 shares. Remember, we're going up against 1.2 million shares out there. So if price closes below that high, that high is 5.44, does it? With less than 1.2 million shares, you'll get the you'll get the perfect Tom O'Brien test and rejection of a swing point on lighter volume. That then coined that next phrase: If you can't bust them to the upside, price will try to bust them to the downside. Well, where's the downside, Stevie? The downside here, if we're going to try to bust anything to the downside, would be support. Where is support? Support is at about 517. That's the green oscillator and change line. And below that is 502. That is the top of the daily profile out there. Now, are we saying that that's what GSM is getting ready to do? We need to know what the test is come Friday. Kind of hard to make that call on a Tuesday. But if I do look on an intraday chart as an example, we go to a 30-minute time frame chart. Here I'd be looking for some type of top, like we saw a nice TD9 count bottom back here at about 1530. That was back on July the 27th. We had a TD9 count top that was negated pretty quickly. And that was at 1130 uh, yesterday. Um, but price is below support. Do I have any kind of a topping pattern? I can see an A to B equal C D. I can see a sell the D point price and below profile level. So this is giving us some indication here, Dan, of price wanting to move lower. I continue to watch that intraday chart. It's very possible GSM could be targeting 501. That is the uh, breakout level. And as long as price remains below 535, where are you at right now? You're at 534. So 535, let me make sure that's the profile. 537, my apology, 537. As long as price remains about 537, you got to be careful about that door to the downside out there. Again, testing a swing point, now doing it on lighter volume, it would appear, and that would suggest that this is getting ready to pull back. Now, on a weekly basis, price right now is tinkering with resistances. That's, that is up at 530, but it's early in the week out here. The monthly looks good in that price closed last month back above its oscillator and change line, back inside its profile level. So it's really uh, up to the daily time frame chart and maybe that 30 minute chart to watch. Uh, and we'll know a little bit more, not necessarily at 1147 in the morning on Tuesday, but more like 1147 in the morning on Friday with regard to uh, Ferro Globe PLC, that ticker symbol G. SM. So, Dano, I hope that that helps you out. Let's go take a look at the next request. This is coming from ELO inside the Tiger's Den. ELO wants to take a look at Moderna, M-R-N-A. Hopefully, they're going out of business. If we take a look at Moderna out here, formed on a weekly basis, that was its high. That was a beautiful TD9 count top on that weekly time frame. And now, price has pulled all the way back and is trading below its breakout level of 118.31. What's that suggest? Well, it's a weekly chart, so on Tuesday it's kind of hard to make that call. But if we do see a close below 118.31, likely headed lower. Where's a real key level out here? Really, it's the 118.31 area. Now, there's a swing point on a weekly basis that resides with a price point. That's from September 30th. Resides down at 115.03. We're trading below that. Realize that could set up an A to B equal CD to the downside. Now, it's such a gigantic one that would actually put it out of business out here, Moderna. So I'm not going to go ahead and draw that in. But on a weekly basis... What this is signaling to you and I is this wants to head lower. On a daily time frame, price has negated a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. That uh, Rhodes momentum indicator bottom formed back here on July the 10th that led to a rally right up into resistance, which was the center of that bullish structure daily profile. We were looking at an instrument, I apologize, I don't remember who it was for, but I was kind of harping on the idea that if price didn't close above the center of that bullish structure, that's where a counter trend rally ends. Here's the perfect example of that. We take a look at the stock charts here for Moderna out here. So no bottom pattern on the daily time frame. A bullish reversal candle would generate a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. And on the monthly time frame out here, there is a TD9 count bottom, and that pattern would get negated on a monthly basis with a close below 115, 150, hold on, geez, Louise, TV, hold your finger straight, 115.61, where'd we close last month? One, not 117.66. So you've got to watch the 115 
61 level. If we close below that, that then says that what price wants to do for Moderna on its monthly time frame is pull back to 1353. So ELO, I hope that helps you out with regard to Moderna. As far as the consecutive days lower out here, let's see where Moderna is at. This is going to become... Well, really only bar number two of consecutive days to the downside. So I'm not seeing anything there as well. Moderna looks like it's headed lower. Hope that helps you out. And uh, we'll be back from this break in just a few moments. Again, we've got all the U.S. indices trading the downside. Dow is only off about seven points right now. S&P 16, NASDAQ 143. And the Russell down by 19 points trading out at 1983.81. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back. Uh, two more requests before we end the show. The first one is on Meta. And the question is, uh, this is from GM, I believe. It says, is there a three-gap play inside of uh, Meta? So I'm going to guess that you're looking at your first gap being right here. That's one between February 1st through February 2nd. Your second gap being between April 26th and uh, April 27th. And then you have the gap from a few days ago. And the question is, is that a three-gap play? kind of in honor of David White. And the answer to that question is no. My recollection, and you go back and confirm this and check on this for me, gap number three needs to be larger in size and dollar amount. 
than those first two gaps in order for that to be a three-gap play, in order for that to be an exhaustion move out there. So, no, I don't see Meta as a three-gap play out here. What I do see Meta doing is trading above the top of its daily profile. I mean, no bearish reversal candle, and that says that price moves higher. The reason why I mentioned the bearish reversal candle, if Meta did generate that, that would confirm a Rhodes Mintum indicator top out there. Now, it still might give you an overall neutral signal, depending on if price remains above the top of its profile and its green oscillator and change line. But do I see a top inside of uh, Meta? I see a wave number seven top, but that's it. But that's really neutralized because price is above its green oscillator and change line. But I do not see a three-gap play. And on a weekly basis, Meta negated its TD9 count top last week. That says what Meta wants to do is go target 236.37. And on a monthly chart, only in bar number seven, more likely than not, what Facebook or Meta wants to do is go target the 353.83. But uh, uh, go ahead and check me out on that, GM. I believe on the three-gap place, that third gap has to be bigger in either percentage or dollars. I don't think it has to be both, but it has to be one or the other. The last request coming in from Mimi wants to take a look at ERF. ERF Mimi formed a TD9 count top yesterday. It's pulling back and it should pull back to at least 1621. If 1621 fails, expect a pullback to 1597. And if 1597 fails, that could tell us a move all the way down to 1492 to 1499. That's both its breakout level and the bottom of that daily profile. Folks, stay tuned for all the great program we've got lined up for you. I'll see you on wonderful Wednesday. Please have a terrific Tuesday. Take care.